Waalaikumsalam. Shall we wait for about five to ten minutes? Okay. Waalaikumsalam. Good evening. Okay, no problem. We haven't started yet. We start at 9.15. Yeah, my... Okay, while waiting for your friend, you may read this part.
Welcome. I'm good. How are you, Mbak Santi? Oke, okay. we can start ya. As I mentioned yesterday, today uh, we will talk about other senses. I heard from some of you that some of you ask about present continuous tense. Ini present continuous tense itu kayak gimana, seperti apa, gitu ya. Banyak yang apa, ask about this. So, last time, oh, no, wait. Last time, we already learned about simple present tense, and we try to compare with simple past tense. Yeah, and now we move forward to the present continuous tense. So, in what situation you use present continuous tense? So here, there are about four, four situations that you may use present continuous tense. The first one is that you can use present continuous tense to state about things that are happening now. Jadi, Anda bisa menyatakan dengan present continuous tense itu untuk hal-hal yang terjadi sekarang. Anda ngomong sekarang, seperti sekarang ini. I am teaching now. I am studying now. Jadi, Anda ngomong yang Anda sekarang sedang lakukan itu pakai present continuous tense. Seperti ini. She is reading in the garden. Berarti, yang ngomong she is reading in the garden itu, dia mendeskripsikan bahwa ada perempuan sekarang tuh sedang membaca di taman. Yes, good. I'm listening now. Ya. Atau misalnya, ini kalau tanya, what are you doing? Oh, she is reading in the garden. Atau, they are not standing in the rain. Oh, mereka nggak berdiri di, hujan, di kehujanan. Oke? Okay. Do you understand about this part? Ah, Mbak Rizalia, harus ada tubinya. Tubinya siapa? Oke, okay. she is coming. Ya, yeah. jadi nanti nanti uh, ada patternnya nanti saya tunjukkan nanti. Kemudian, and then present continuous tense also can be used for action happening in a period around the present moment in time. Jadi anda bisa hmm, menjelaskan. Jadi selama ini ya, waktu saya dulu belajar, waktu saya masih SD, when I was in elementary school, when I was ketika dulu ya, when I was in elementary school, my teacher always said that certain continuous tense only consider happen the things that happening now. Itu waktu dulu saya yang saya pahami itu waktu saya SD. But, actually not. Dia tidak. Karena present continuous tense, it can be used in four different situations. The first one, the things that happening now. The second one is action happening in a, in a period. Misalnya, uh, here the, the example. She is studying hard for her final exam. 
for special purpose to study in heart. Kayak gitu. Atau Atau for future plan. Usually, saya dulu waktu belajar juga, kalau future itu selalu pakai future tense gitu ya. Past, uh, present future tense. I will. Gitu. Atau I shall be menggunakan will atau shall. Hai Mbak Rian, Tuhan Tuhan. Misalnya ini. See this example. What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? Coba jawab pertanyaan saya coba. What are you doing? What are you doing tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning? Yang lengkap bikin kalimatnya Mbak. Olah, coba. Yes, you can use that. Coba pakai present continuous kan? Oke. Okay. Ada bisa pakai present continuous kan? Pakai bentuk in. Hai, Mbak Kotia. Oke, bisa. I'm moving coach. Oke. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to pray, misalnya. Misalnya Anda bisa menulis gini. I'm going to pray, pray. Going to ini sebenarnya sama dengan will sama tapi dia pakai bentuk uh, hot in ya atau misalnya she is not coming atau she will not come boleh Oke. jadi uh, untuk memudahkan anda The common present continuous time expression itu include ini. Hari ini, now, this month. Nah, ini. So, lihat, lihat, uh, you need to pay attention on the time. Atau, uh, apa namanya? Konteksnya, konteksnya itu konteks apa ketika dia bicara itu? Ketika kalimatnya itu konteksnya berbicara seperti apa? Oke, okay. I'm spending. Tomorrow morning, I'm spending my holiday to buy the station. Wow, great. Ya. Yeah.
tomorrow morning I'm celebrating Idul Adha, for example. So yeah. Okay, any questions for this? Okay, good. Very good. So here the structure on present continuous tense. Jadi di present continuous tense itu ada uh, strukturnya. You need to pay attention on the. If you use verb atau menggunakan kata kerja, you need to have the to be plus verb plus in. Such as, for example, I am working today. You are blah 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 today. Harus ada to be. Ya, tahu ya bedanya ya. Remember the difference. In simple past tense, you don't need to put any to be if you have a verb. But here, you need to have to be. You are working today. They are blah, blah, blah. Yeah? Kalau nama orang, to be-nya apa? Bergantung ada berapa orang. Ada berapa orang? Kalau misalnya Santi and Risa, nah, kan ada dua orang. Kalau dua orang itu kan lebih dari satu. Itu pakai A. Santi and Risa asking a question now. Santi and Risa are asking a question now. Oke, A. Karena dua orang. But if, if you only said one person, like, Wawat is listening now. Karena satu orang, you use it. Okay? Okay, good. Again, also, now for negative. For negative, so after the verb, you put not. Uh, sorry, after the to be, you put not. I am not coming this evening. You are not listening to me. Yeah. So what else? He is not coming. They are not. Ya, Mbak Awin. Ya, it's easy kok. Kalau present continuous tense itu easy. Ingat harus ada to be ya. Bedakan sama present, simple present tense sama simple past tense. Saya lupa, ada, 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 ada. Oke. Oke, sekarang dia agak lupa. Yang kemarin. Jadi saya tanya. Yeah, yeah. I will share the material for you. Okay. What do you mean by ngalor ngidul?
<laughs> yeah, actually, uh, Master Daos helped me to record the YouTube. <laughs> So I'm waiting for her recording and then share to you. Tunggu ya. Saya ini kan dulu pak. Nah, kok nggak jadi? Tanya aja. Mau tanya boleh, mau curhat boleh. Yep. Okay, good, good question. What is the difference between present continuous and past continuous? What we learn today is present continuous. Yeah. Jadi Anda ngomong sekarang, present apa? Anda sedang lakukan apa sekarang? Ya itu Anda yang ngomong, ngomongnya pakai I am a subject plus to be plus verb plus a. Ya. Kalau pas continuous, A itu Anda menjelaskan sesuatu. Jadi misalnya gini. Saya oh, share buat contoh kalimatnya ya, biar gampang. Hmm. Ya sudah lampau. Bentar, saya saya jelas cari contoh kalimatnya nih yang menarik. Oke ya. Iya, so, pakai itu di. Kalau ada ing itu selalu pakai to be, Mbak Rizal ya. Jadi itu tapi to be-nya apa? Kalau simple present continuous kan dia to be-nya is am are kan to be to be present. Tapi kalau past continuous tense dia to be-nya was sama were. Remember the to be for past tense. Ya, yeah, good. Ya, yeah, Mbak Fitna. Yap. Misalnya I'm trying to find a sentence. Kenapa Bu Ica? <laughs> Mama kok mungkin. Uh -uh. Ya, kalau present continuous, Anda to be-nya is, am, are, karena present. Tapi kalau yang past continuous, pakai was or were. Jadi gini misalnya, I was watching you when, misalnya, I was watching you when, You are playing with a girl. Sudah tujuh belas tahun ke atas semua kan, ya? No, I mean we have a relationship ini. I was watching you. Pasti tulisannya. 
Bien. Bien. Ya te diganti de. Con shipping. Keeping my boyfriend. Me, yeah. Lihat ini. Ini ini pas. Ini pas continuous tense. I was watching you. Hello, can you hear me? Ini terlihat tiba-tiba menghilang nih. Oke, okay, good. Oke, okay, this one ya. Yeah. I was watching you when you were gossiping my boyfriend. <laughs> iya. Ini pakai most ini. Ya, ini past continuous tense. Jadi, Anda menjelaskan waktu uh, di momen di suatu momen yang lampau. Aku terlalu lihat kamu ketika kamu itu sudah menggosipkan pacarku. Nah, itu it just uh, past moment. Tapi Anda uh, ada dua momen, Anda melakukan apa di momen tersebut? Gitu loh. Ya bisa, it could be. Atau misalnya, I was listening apa ya? I was listening a music last uh, in the same time last night, misalnya. last last week. Misalnya. Intinya waktunya tuh jelas, jelasnya dalam arti pada jam yang pada jam sekarang, tapi minggu yang lalu kayak gitu. Apa?
Ya, ya, betul, good. Itu tough ya. Ya, yeah. yep, good. Gimana Mbak Kuan Ami? Jadi kalau yang ini, Tunggu, aku jawab satu-satu ya. Mbak Kuan Ami tanya, berarti yang dikerjakan sekarang itu menceritakan kejadian yang dialami pada masa lalu. Ini yang sim, uh, past continuous tense ya. Jadi, uh, Anda itu menceritakan sesuatu yang Anda kerjakan atau orang lain kerjakan di masa lalu, tapi Anda jelas waktu dia ini. Oke, okay. Mbak siapa lagi nih? Udah Mbak Riri. Nih, I was watching television when the telephone rang. Boleh. Aku ini sedang nonton TV ketika teleponnya itu berbunyi. Berbunyi kan udah lampau kan? Boleh. Aku was watching TV when Ayo TV-nya mana ini? Mbak Wawat. Aku was watching TV when I cooking, kan? Bukan I cooking, I was cooking. Pokoknya kalau ada bentuk in, itu jangan lupa tubuhnya. Kamu kan tadi nulis, I was watching television, the telephone, eh sorry, which one is yours? Aku was watching TV when I cooking kan? Kamu nggak pakai to be, so you need to put to be there. Mm -hmm. Oke, okay. iya, harus ada tuh. Di kalau ada scope, ya, scope tambah ini kan sudah tuh. Oke, okay. kalau oh, sudah saya lanjutkan, no more question. Oke, okay. the same as the uh, interrogative or the questions statement ya, you uh, the to be should be put First, are you, kalau misalnya, Anda sudah belajar belum ya, kalau kalimat pertanyaan itu, kalimat tanya itu ada yang kalimat tanyanya jenis yes, no question, or we have question. Sudah belajar belum di kelas satu ya? Oke, okay. sudah ya? 
kok sudah pernah ada yang belum Ya, ada apa di kalau ada yang sudah merasa sudah saya ulangi. Yang belum ya saya tak ajarin. Oke, okay. coba ini. <laughs> you are so funny, all of you. Oke, okay. assume that you already know about Simple present tense, simple past tense, present continuous tense, gitu ya. Oke, sekarang ke kalimat tanya. Jadi, di kalimat tanya itu sebenarnya ada dua macam. Kalimat tanya yang hanya jawabannya itu yes or no. Ini internetnya Internetnya agak rada-rada ini ya Can you hear me? Oke, okay. oke, okay. sekarang I, I repeat ya, supaya Anda paham maksudnya bedanya ini apa, yes no question sama WH question. Okay. Example ya, Mbak Wawat, are you going to marry? What, what is your answer? Yes, nah, jadi kal kalimat tanya yang tubinya di depan, Ya, itu jawabannya kalau nggak yes ya no. Oke, 
Oke, okay. jadi kalau misalnya kalimatnya seperti ini. Are you doing this? Are you doing, misalnya, are you? Hmm, are you cooking now? Apa kamu lagi masak sekarang? Yes. Pokoknya kalau misalnya to be-nya itu di depan. Ya. Yeah. To be gitu. plus subjek misal atau apa ya are you student ya yeah. <laughs> wah kayaknya kalau kita bahas bahasa Inggris dengan topik merit tuh kayaknya rame ya I just ask you one question are you married are you going to marry langsung rame <laughs> when apa Mbak Zidna sebentar when does he love when does he love her nah yang dibilang Mbak, It, Mbak Zidna Ilma ini when does itu masuk wh question ya ya juga do you agree with me Yes, I do. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Foto ini. Do. Das, gitu ya. Subject plus verb. Nah, will you marry me? Marry. M-A-R-R-Y. Oke, okay. kalau WH question itu sebenarnya hanya maknanya, itu kalimatannya yang uh, dengan pertanyaannya, kata tanyanya itu what. Yep, why, when. Terus, where, ya, yeah. how, who, ada lima ya, oke, okay. ya yeah, Mbak Santi. Nah, kalau yang WH question itu kalimatannya dengan menggunakan kata tanya ini. When are you going to propose me? Oh, enggak artinya. When? When are you going? Hmm. Ya, hal ini, ini Maksudnya WH question itu ada W ini sama how Ya, ini contohnya When are you going to propose me? Kapan kamu melamarku? Kan itu kan butuh penjelasan.
Waduh, langsung jawab. Tidak selalu dengan tubi. Misalnya, ini yang pasten ya. What did you do? What did you do with her? Misalnya, apa yang kamu lakukan sama dia? Kayak gitu. Ya, jadi tidak harus, tidak selalu dengan to be. It depends. It depends on the arrangement of the sentence. Oke? Okay? Nah, sekarang kalau question di sini, ada ada to be are you going misalnya are you sleeping tonight misalnya is she uh, is she loving you misalnya oke okay. any question Very easy, ya. Yeah? Oke, okay. if not I will continue. Sekarang, I ask you to make your own sentence in present continuous tense, positif, negatif, sama interrogatif. Tiga menit aja. <tuh> Bebas, free. Three minutes. One sentence in positive, negative, sama interrogative. Ya, Mbak Rizal, ya. Can you hear me? Hmm. 
make your own sentence in present continuous tense positive negative and interrogative Okay. Boleh dipulih lagi. Oke, okay. ada yang dua deh. One more, ya. Yeah. We will discuss this. One more. Siapa yang mau ini ketik di saya tulis di papan tulisnya. Oke, okay. langsung buat positif, negatif, sama introgatif ya. Anyone?
I'm back. I think the server connection problem ini. Koneksi internet tak apa-apa, tidak ada masalah. Can you hear me all? Okay. Oke, okay. oke okay, Mbak Santi. Oke, okay, so it's not only me ya. Yeah. You already feel lost ya. Yeah. Oke okay, sudah tiga ini misalnya di papan yang pertama I am attending English class tonight when my mother it's okay no problem tidak apa I'm attending English class tonight when my mother call my phone or call me gitu ya. Ini nelfonnya ini Enggak apa-apa. Nah, ini yang Oke. Okay. It's calling me. Okay. Yeah. I'm not attending class tonight when my mother is calling me. Nah ini penggunaan did ya. Did itu kan untuk kalimat lampau pasien. Jadi if my mother calling me when I'm attending class tonight. Ya terserah kalau pakai what if kan terserah sih kalimatnya apa. Kalau ini kan Anda merubah jadi positif, negatif, so ke interrogatif gitu. The second one. Coba perhatikan yang ini. My mother was cooking when I was listening music. Music My mother was not cooking when I... Okay. Nah. Ini yang first yang terjadi. Sudah ada did, ada was. Ya. Harusnya was. My mother cooking. When I was listening music. Ya. Yeah. Ini. I'm nah ini, ini coba perhatikan ada M ada is 
Waduh, ini bahaya karena tubinya ada dua. I am moving. Wah, ini ini bingung ini kalimatnya. Kenapa? I'm moving to Tangerang after I got married. Baru sudah sudah married ya ini. Atau Kalau ini kayaknya yang cocok I'm going to move I'm going to move to Tangerang After I get Gak tau dia punya siapa, pokoknya tubuhnya hati-hati. Nah, ini. I, bukan sama is. Pakai M. Am I moving to Tangerang after I get married? Geser kemana ya sudah kayak gini? Oke, okay, satu lagi. Coba siapa yang sudah buat? Oke, okay, ini coba. Cek tak ke atasin. Tidak memiliki. Ya, ini punya yang Mbak Mimi sini. Waduh. Ntar, satu-satu, satu-satu. Eh, ini coba lihat punya Mbak Mimi sini, Mbak Susi. My sister is cooking in the kitchen. My sister is not cooking in the kitchen. Is my sister cooking in the kitchen? Yes, correct. Coba, ah, ini punyanya Eka nih. Wawat has been studying English when I was cooking. Wah, ini, ini bukan present continuous tense. Habis ini kita belajar yang kamu buat ini kalimatnya. Ya. Ya, Mbak Zidna, Irma. Oke, okay. any question? Ini kok masih banyak yang salah ya? Intinya apa sekarang? Kalau ini, Kenapa Mbak Ayu? I need to check. Copy Mbak kalimatmu.
Are you is cooking rice when I'm sleep sweeping the room? Yeah, betul. Are you is not cooking rice? Yeah. Is I yes, betul. Mbak Ayu masari betul. Cookie. Jadi kalimatnya tuh patternnya ya, rumusnya itu adalah subjek plus to be plus verb plus in Ya, yeah. jadi to be, to be nya itu plus subject kalau itu kalimat positif. Kalau kalimat negatif, subject. Nah, toko itu eh, apa, Mbak Eka? To be nya jangan lupa. To be nya mana? To be plus verb, oh sorry, not verb, ini loh, ya, bentuknya seperti ini. Paham gak nih? Tubinya jangan double ya, sudah sudah ada if ada n, be careful. Tubi itu di mana mana cuma satu pasangannya. Oke. Okay. Ya karena kamu pakai buat harusnya semuanya lampau sudah benar tapi ini pas continuous tense bukan present continuous tense. Sudah? Okay, my father is reading magazine when my mother is washing clothes. Betul. Yep. Yep, betul. Mbak Rita lihat. Oh, iya. Betul. Ya, betul. Harusnya begini ya. I am. Kalau mau menyingkat, Anda pakai I am. Gitu. 
Ya, betul, Mbak Rizal, ya, betul. Any more? Emang nggak saya balik? Terus jadi kahal. Yes, I'm very busy. If one, if anyone I'm going to go to mosque tomorrow in Taan Park. Is there anyone going to go to Taan Park Mosque? We can meet tomorrow there. Inshallah. I never attend Idul Fitri or Idul Adha mosque. Yeah, nggak, saya nggak pernah datang. Tapi it's on my friend experience. They stay in Masjid Besar. It will be very crowded. So they so better to you to go there earlier. Maybe five thirty. Eka, Eka ini, my father was sleeping, kamu pakai past continuous ya, my father was sleeping, was a sleeping sih, gak pakai a dong, my father was sleeping when my mom, kan kamu ngomongnya tentang lampau, my father was sleeping when my mom was cooking at the kitchen. Ini punyanya Kusno Fatima sama kayak punyanya Nindi nih ya. Betul gak, Bih? Enggak, itu sendiri. Kalian ini sekali. November nggak ada, cuman cuman Oktober aja ya, ya. Di jadwal, sesuai jadwal.
okay? Okay, yeah, we almost finished. Actually, I would like to continue with this. Tapi nanti kamu tambah bingung. Kayaknya nanti ini next time. Just present perfect tense. Yeah, I'll end it right there. Ini apa nih Minji? Sama-sama kayak saya. Apanya? Ini okay. sama gemuknya. Kita masih punya lima menit lah, Pak. Anak saya kalau dibilangin, kamu kok gemuk? My 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 daughter's name is Gay. My daughter's name. Uh, when people ask her, Hey, you look so fat. Why you look so fat? Gitu kan? You look so chubby. And she answer by, Yes, because my mom and my dad is also chubby careless. Ada carelessnya. Yes, because she is speaking English yeah, sometimes with me. So she say, yes, of course, because my mom and my dad is also chubby, are also chubby careless people. Yang lucu ada ada kelesnya itu loh. Saya langsung kaget, apa itu kelles? Anyone know what is kelles? <laughs> itu kan nggak tahu kalian. <laughs> iya, dia, dia nonton sinetron tuh ada mbaknya kan, ada apa? Ada anti apa? Neninya kan, ada kelles. <laughs> And then that that is her her teacher asked her, Why you look so chubby? Yes, of course, because my mom and my dad are also chubby cows. And afterward, the teacher sent me Blackberry message. Bu, ini ya Allah lucu sekali. Jawabannya, she answered like this, and. She try to spread the the word to her friends. Jadi, uh, <laughs> she try to spread the word. So now her friend imitated her. Jadi kalau ada apa-apa tambahin iya kelas gitu. Iya, itu lagi di class 15. Iya kali, gitu loh. Iya, bahasa alay. That was so surprise. Iya, kasih link, kasih like ya. <laughs> Oke, <Okay>, good. <laughs> Thank you. Not yet, uh, January. <laughs> it's, it's not important, Mbak Kwan Ami. It's just talking about my daughter. Jadi, anak, 
anak saya aja seperti itu nanti kalau you have a, you have daughter you have son I don't know seperti apa nanti ya bahasa alanya kayak apa nih begini ya sama-sama I'll see you tomorrow ya Mbak Bawa Insya Allah oke okay. I think we answered now actually I would like to share this to you but I will share the powerpoint So you will try to learn the PowerPoint and then I will see you next week and I plan to have the UTS next week, yeah? Yeah, kita kan sudah tengah-tengah ini, ya. Next week. Uh, we, have, we will have meeting on Thursday or Friday. Which one? that you choose. Kamis ya? Oke, oke, oke. Terusnya ya, ya. Terusnya nanti saya share. Uh, UTS-nya, jadi nggak ada kelas hari kami saya posting UTS-nya uh, dikumpulkan hari itu juga and then I will discuss saya akan mendiskusikannya langsung di hari Jumat, jadi nggak ada susulan kalau nanti ada susulan lagi, ada susulan soalnya beda oke okay. oke okay? Saya belum buat, tidak ada PR. Oke, okay. have a nice day and have a nice uh, Idul Adha. No, I don't know, Pak Izin. I'll see you next week. I'll see you on Sunday, ya. Yes. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Assalamualaikum.